A champion has a name, and his name is Charles Oliveira. But there's also a jerk, and his name is the Misbegotten Warrior. North of Limgrave, and northwest of Lernia, in the Altus Plateau, there lies the unsightly catacombs. According to the Elden Ring wiki, down deep beneath the Perfumer's Ruins, there's a decrepit, but also place full of fragrant aromas. Pretty much, it's pretty dank all across the board. And here is where the Misbegotten Warrior lives. And he lives here with the main boss, the Perfumer Trisha. And according to the lore on the Elden Ring wiki, the Perfumer Trisha's story is fairly tragic. She is the deathbed companion of Misbegotten, Omen, and all those seen as impure. And perhaps she hates me too because I made fun of her. She just chills with people until they die. And then in chilling and hanging out with dead people for so long, she essentially became, in my opinion, not sure if this is lore, an evil spirit herself. I don't have a ton of YouTube followers as you can kind of see, so if I use curse words I might get demonetized. Instead, I'll have to call her the main B. And the Misbegotten Warrior is a very strong side B who wants to become the main B. Either way, they destroyed and pummeled me into dirt as a partnership. I think about 40 times. You see, the thing is, Trisha knows that she failed the Misbegotten Warrior. She clearly couldn't save his life. As my old badminton coach would say, she's making up for it by going 110%. She does two things really good to support the Misbegotten Warrior. Number one, she shields him by casting a spell, and number two, she casts a bunch of explosive perfume all across the ground so that it's hard to get to the warrior as well. If both of them are left alive, it's pretty much impossible to evade the Misbegotten Warrior's very fast lasting attacks. It took me really long to realize this, but essentially using my bleed build by myself with very limited armor and without a shield, I really wasn't able to damage the Misbegotten Warrior very much. I also tried to take out the warrior without taking out Trisha first and this didn't go well at all either. So two things became incredibly important with a close medium range build like mine. Number one was to deploy the wolves spirits immediately, and number two was to take out Trisha probably within the first minute, minute and a half. After I took care of those two things, with the shield armed and with slightly heavier armor, I was able to slowly slash away at the Muspegon warrior, both block his attacks, which I needed sorely, but also doing some rolling to evade the other attacks. All that combined with some light conservative slashing, I was able to finally take them out. So if you're having trouble with these two bosses combined, I really hope this video helps in some capacity. Um, if you do like what you see and enjoy the content, please feel free to like and subscribe so that I see a signal to make more and more Elden Ring content. Have a good one.